This looks like crap. I built this system for this off-grid cabin 10 years ago and time has taken its toll. What is left of this frame structure here is about to tip over, but we're going to give it a little push today and finish the job. Today we're going to be doing a do-it-yourself solar rack using these brackets that mount onto one of these fence posts. This will be cheap but much more effective than what we're dealing with here. But before we can build all this, we're going to have to start the teardown process. So the first thing we're going to do is remove all the panels from the ground here. So we'll start by cutting the wires and we're going to chainsaw all this wood up and get it ready to burn. Okay, we got everything cleaned up and loaded onto the trailer. That was actually quite a bit of work doing it by myself. These solar panels here are a few years old and they weigh about 75 pounds a piece. Same brand that I just removed, but about 25 pounds lighter. These things are coming in right around 53 pounds. Also, the older solar panels were 310 watts. The new ones here are 355 watts. And the older ones cost me somewhere around $300 each, while these are just coming in at $67 a piece now. So the panels that I just took down still have a lot of life left in them. So we're not going to be replacing the panels but we are going to give these panels a new life with a new rack and some new wiring you know these panels behind me here were actually installed about eight or nine years ago when they were added to the system and now that the time has gone by and i've removed these panels i can tell you that setting your solar panels on the ground is not a great idea this was my very first solar system install and you know we learn as we go okay so now the next thing we need to do is get all this wood cut up here throw it into a pile and get ready to put our new homemade solar racks up Right, guys here's the thing we've got it all cleared out here it looks pretty good it's ready to put the new solar panel racks up i have one issue left and if i'm going to do it i need to do it now while i don't have any solar panels there i need to drop this tree problem is it's a really tall tree and i really don't know what i'm doing when it comes to dropping trees try to pull this tree with my truck and uh, get it out of here and get it out of the way uh, the only thing is it's a little two-wheel drive truck so we'll see what happens
All right, we're gonna go ahead and get some of these T-posts banged down into the ground here so we can get our brackets on the T-posts and get these new racks built. <laughs> Got to be better than what it was sitting on. It's 25.0 degrees, 25.1. The solar panel angle is going to fluctuate throughout the year depending on the months. So if you can get it close to 30, that's a good number. Sometimes it's 40. And even in the middle of the summer, it's around 18 degrees. So. You just kind of want to get it somewhere in between, and I think 25 is a good round number. Okay, so down underneath the panels here, we have hooked positive to negative and positive to negative. And then we have the negative coming out one side and the positive coming out the other side. This is what we call series. So we're wiring three of these panels in series and this set of panels will be called a string. So this will be string number one. That charge controller is made by Morningstar. The reason that we're only wiring strings of three together in this configuration is we're trying to keep the voltage down. The charge controller that we're using will only take a maximum of 150 volts. Upping the voltage will lower the amps and it'll make everything run a lot more efficient. So let's get started on putting this second string next to it here. All right, guys, there it is, the finished product. I think it turned out pretty good. It's not gonna be as sturdy as some of the other structures you can build, but there are a few more things that you can do to stabilize it even better than it is. You could also use something like this just as a temporary structure. This actually may be good for a place where you have to abide by local codes. It actually could be considered something portable and easily movable. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish wiring these panels up and then hook the two strings into the charge controller. If you're interested in any of these T-post brackets or any of these solar panel mounts, I'll leave a link to them in the description of this video. Also, if you are interested in getting 355 watt solar panels just like this, the price of these things are amazing now at only $67 each. That's right, brand new 355 watt solar panels just $67 a piece. So far these are the cheapest solar panels that I have seen. I'll also leave a link in the description for those solar panels. Alright guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.